together. Hi, hello. I'm back. Welcome back. I am Hannah. I very rarely post on here, but when I do, it's a good time. So welcome to the video. I am just doing a little intro for this because it's just a shit ton of vlog clips. The gist of the video is I tried to read essentially my entire June TBR in one week. That was fun. June, not my month. I did not get to read much at all. I was reading my first book of June when my world kind of fell apart. So fast forward to the end of June, I was like, mm, I really still have some books that I'd like to read. I really want to escape reality. I thought it would be fun to just see how many books I could read in a week. This was the final week of June and I just tried to push through, see how many I could read, all of which these books were on on my TBR for the month of June. Most of them I didn't really get around to. Some of them I did with this challenge. Now, let me clarify because I'm a little sad about the fact that I only read four books, okay? Hear me out. The week that I tried to do this challenge, I went out of town. We had like all my family, extended family in town for something and so it was chaotic. In a way, I kind of only had like four days to read so I read a book a day. But fun time. It was actually, was it four? It was five. It was five books. <laughs> Go me. Uh, it was five. It just one was on audio. So it was five books that I managed to read in a week. So I guess that's not terrible, especially given the circumstances. Anyhow, let's get into the video. <laughs> Hi. Okay, ignore the fact that I'm on the floor. It's just the only way that I can get the camera set up here. I'm starting off with the shortest book of them all, The Notes on Grief by an author's name that I can't pronounce and I don't want to try and botch that, but I figured this book I need right now. So we're going to start with this one and then I'm following up with wildfire so two totally different vibes but I'm gonna see what I can get done so yeah I'm gonna try and get this done in one sitting I don't see why I couldn't and then I'll just see where I go from there <laughs> obviously but I just thought that this was really interesting it mentions the date June 7th which was the date that my grandfather who was essentially my father passed away and I don't this isn't the day that he passes in this book for the author but I just like what are the odds that the same date <laughs> is mentioned in this book that I got to try to continue coping with my grief fun times but yeah that's just I don't know that was so random so whatever anyhow we continue <music> Okay, so I just finished first book. This was, this is so hard. No, this book just, I needed to read it right now. It was like, I think only barely 70 pages. It is a truly heart-wrenching book, especially if you are in a grieving process, but I think in any situation or any scenario, I think everybody should read this book. This was very, very beautiful. It's essentially about this woman that is in Africa and it's during the pandemic all of her family is spread out and they would always have zoom calls of the whole family her parents and most of her like family are all in america but she is in i think nigeria still her father passes away unexpectedly none of them can get to each other because of the pandemic and i mean it's just like devastating to read about i can't imagine grief and loss is hard enough on its own i can't imagine being physically restrained to not be able to go even lay that person to rest or be with your family <laughs> of all things the way that she described losing a father was absolutely ugh. <laughs> 
absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, that's a five star read for me. I think that was so, so beautifully written. This one was just a new one that I actually just bought yesterday because I needed to read it. So we're gonna move on to some happier ones, but I think I might take, I'm gonna take some time. But yeah, I'll get to Wildfire next is my next one. So I'll just check base later. Okay, bye. Okay, change of scenery. I ran away. <laughs> can't even see it because I won't want to focus, but I, yes, I bring my teddy bear with me on trips. Just, we don't talk about that. Yeah, I needed to get out of town. So I took myself to this Airbnb. It's like a tiny house situation with gigantic window right in the forest, obviously, as you can see. We got my mind with us. I haven't checked in because like, I don't know. It's really weird for me to like record or do stuff like this, but I finished the second book of the Dirty Air series. Collided? Yeah, Collided. I read Throttled last month and I really liked it, so I just finished Collided on the drive up because I listened to the audiobook since it was on Spotify. Yeah, that one was good. I liked Throttled a lot better, but yeah, that one was good. <laughs> like, I wouldn't not recommend it, but you know, it was what it was. So I also started briefly last night. I started Wildfire, which has been on my TBR for a while, but I was holding off until summertime, given that it's a summery kind of vibe of a book. <laughs> I'm at page 55. So far, it's cute. I think I'm gonna like it. I liked the references to the characters from Icebreaker. I've heard mixed feelings about this, but there's also mixed feelings about Icebreaker. I am biased, and I loved Icebreaker just because <laughs> I do figure skating. Hopefully, this book is cute. I really like the guy so far. Like, it's just like, I don't know. He's just so cute and quirky. So fingers crossed it ends up being good, but this is going to be my goal to see how much more of this I can read tonight. I kind of have a headache, but I made some tea and I'm just going to read and rest and enjoy this change of scenery. <laughs> I guess I'll keep you posted. This shit's still too hot to drink. I can't. No. Okay, bye. <laughs> one following me into this book too <laughs> like not actually there's just a reference like her dad owns an f1 team or some shit i don't know but essentially like this book is still the maple hill series like you're at the same college everyone i think well at least me <laughs> thought like for one i didn't think that this was in any relation like when i saw she made a new book i was like oh that's great the only connection to the characters from before is in like the very beginning so far i like it you know we got a lot of daddy issues which is like relatable also yeah that broke but i have a headache and i'm like trying to debate what's gonna make it worse doing this <laughs> or this you know oh my gosh i'm a mess so far i am enjoying it i don't know i feel like i can it's like kind of predictable but i do resonate a lot with some of the quotes that have been talked about so far especially like daddy issues parent issues stuff like that i think that'll be good and i really like the main girls person i like both personalities of like the main guy and the main girl. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. While I'm on this trip, it's only two nights. Like it's literally tonight, all day tomorrow, then I'm like leaving early morning on the like following day. So I'm probably only gonna get this one red, but I did bring this next one, which is actually gonna be my last one that I'm attempting to read this week. So I'm just trying to kind of get all these books that I've been wanting to read done. I have not read all, I think I've read one, maybe two books this month it's just not been a good month for me so reading got put on hold this one is called go as a river and it looks really good really good like actual literary fiction like you know one of those like powerful literary novels and not like smut like no offense i love i'm 
I like, what is it? I'm like a diverse reader. I don't, that's not the word. I don't know. I read everything and I don't judge, but this one looks a little bit more intense to read. So I might get started on this if I do finish Wildfire. And then on my way up here, I read, it was, I did it on audio because I don't have the physical copy yet, but I just read Throttled by Lauren Asher last month. So I wanted to read Collided by Lauren Asher. So hence the F1 thing. And now I'm like such an F1 girly. <laughs> so yeah, so that is what I had been reading this week as well and finished that one. So I'm officially two books down. It is Tuesday. I started yesterday. Granted, sort of cheating with Collided because I did start that I think over the weekend, but I had barely read it. So within like today and yesterday, I was like going back and forth between all the books and anywho. So we're three books in. Yeah, not terrible <laughs> given that it's only Tuesday. So fingers crossed the streak continues to streak. <laughs> See, you I'm know what would you know, you know what up. would help with that. You see, but you had it right, right there. You had it right. So much time wasted. So much I time know. wasted. I know. So sad. I know. All right, begin. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! I wasn't ready. Why'd you flip? I didn't. I played this and I flipped that. Um, in the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning, in the in the bini in the biningi yeah stop <laughs> fuck you oh, I'm like, oh no why are you doing that that's the what in the fuck are you talking that about didn't help at all no it didn't what in the shit are you saying to me right now did no one have a nine see that's ten so that still didn't make four i don't fuck ads but of course you're almost seven and we have to put file out anyway. You wanted to play. You can play it around. I just actually want to figure that out. Jumbled up. We had just started the round. It's all jumbled up. Hi, hello. It is the next day. I did not make as much progress yesterday with this as I wanted to. I'm only there. So what am I? 128, page 128 is where I'm at. Goal, it's like nine right now. I'm gonna have some breakfast and try and read as much of this as possible. Definitely will read this by today. It is Wednesday. I keep wanting to say I've read three books, but I've only read two. So this will be my third one. And then hopefully I can start this one and get that finished by Sunday. Like I'm giving myself through Sunday, but I have a very busy, busy weekend. I don't want to do this weekend um, is the point of that story. I did go to Books A Million yesterday. Shut up. I am a sucker sometimes. If the book is cute enough, I will buy it. So this one is like a cozy fantasy novel. And I'm just like, that's not really my cup of tea, but this was so cute. So it looks like this and then it has blue pages or like you know what I mean? It's called Can't Spell Treason Without Tea. It's about these two women that are like together. <laughs> There's something about like a queen that's like super wicked or whatever. And these two girls just want to open up a bookshop where you serve tea and I'm like all for it. But then of course like the queen or something gets in the way. Like the one girl works for the queen. I don't know. I checked on Goodread and it's like a 3.86 overall. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not expecting much from this except vibes. But then I have been wanting this one. This summer will be different. And so I picked up those two with no intent of finishing them by any means this week. I'm excited for those. And I just keep adding to my list of books I want to read. There will never be a time where there are not books that I want to read. So anywho, I figured I'd just check in given that it was the next day. I finally put some makeup on to look a little less bleh. And yeah, I'm going to eat and read. So I'll check in just honestly when I finish this book because I don't want to keep like talking about it. So far, I mean, it's cute. I love the vibes. I think it'd be a really cute movie because I think the scenery would be like really cute. Like really fun. It's giving Camp Rock. So, okay, bye. Nice and nice
Hello. Okay, so we're checking back in. Obviously, back at home. I have, I don't want to wake him up because he finally just stopped like crying. We have a little tip tips. Yeah, and now he's gonna start crying again because I have woken him up. But I just finished cooking him his chicken and rice. This is not a puppy vlog. This is a reading vlog. So, so far it is Thursday. I have read three books. So I've read a single book every day, give or take kind of. Wildfire, let's talk about wildfire. I don't even know where my book went. <laughs> I messed up too. I brought it to the lake. <laughs> It got wet and it just it was a sad sad time and now I don't know where the book is so I got wildfire so as you can see I ruined the book <laughs> just completely ruined it and I was very sad about that and then Luke bent it and it this this thing's been through a lot it was like I would give it I mean realistically like maybe like a 2.75 I'm super picky with my ratings it was definitely rom-com type vibes it was really cute I loved this like setting and that's I think where I did end up liking it was just because of the vibe and just the aesthetics and I just thought it was really cute I think it would be a really cute movie however like aside from that I just kind of felt like it was dragging a little bit or they were going like back and forth a lot ignore the puppy screaming just a contemporary romance like it's very simple you know it is what it is I do think I like icebreaker better but again I'm biased and I do figure skating so I just really liked reading a novel about figure skating but this one again like I love nature I read it in the woods as you could see I read it all over the place you know it was summery and I, I did like that I liked it I liked the guy he was just a walking green flag bless his little soul he reminded me a lot of Luke it was just really cute so I did like that book and I would recommend it if you just want like a cute like feel good summer read and if you have daddy issues you'll relate <laughs> the next one that I'm attempting to read I'm gonna be so honest I don't know where this vlog is gonna go I don't know where like the reading is gonna go <laughs> I have the next couple days are gonna be insane and I just don't think I'm gonna be able to like sit and read and read and read as much as I want to but this is the next one that I really am looking forward to it's called go as a river so this is my next read this one might take me a minute longer just cuz less like skimmable that's not a word, but you know what I mean. However, it is small font, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to start reading it. I have a half hour until I have to take... Yeah, okay. All right, we're doing great over here. <laughs> I have a half hour until I have to take Tipper, the thing screaming, to the vet. Uh, <laughs> Just for his shots, he's fine. It's just his little puppy shots. So I have a half hour. I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna start this book. I can't with his screams. Like he's three pounds. He should not be able to do that. I'm gonna go give him his chicken and rice. Then I'm gonna sit for half hour and start this book. I'll kind of keep checking in. And yeah, so far we've got three down. I keep wanting to say four, but it's only been three. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, bye. There's so much. We shall try. I did get it on audio though. Just in case. Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> you like books? Oh my god. We read together. We read together. We read together. Um. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Okay, yeah, spoiler alert. I'm not moving around and making it look like I'm not filming the intro and the outro at one go. 
So here we are. We're back. Yeah, it is now July. It's like the second. It's the third. It's the third of July right now as I'm filming this. This is so scattered. I love it. You obviously saw throughout the video what books I was reading, but I'm going to go back through the books that I read. Not all of them I showed. So the one was an audiobook that was just like it came on Spotify and I had read Throttled by Lauren Asher in May and it got me into my... <laughs> F1 moment. One of the girls that I watch on YouTube that does book videos, she actually, I was just watching it this morning, she read Throttled as well and she summed that up so well. If it was not for the F1 factor of these books, I would not like these books at all. The F1 saved it. <laughs> but they are so fun. So I read Collided, which is the second one of the series. It's like the Dirty Air series. I think there's four books in it. I do intend on finishing the series just because again the F1 got me in my feels. I was like I did not know that I was an F1 girly and here we are. I'm excited for this new era of me and anyways if anyone has F1 tickets hi. So I did read Collided on audio. I finished it on my drive up to the trip that I took last week. That one was good. I kind of am averaging a, a three-star rating on books. To be fair, Collided worse than Throttled. There was a lot less F1 factor in it, so... I don't know like it was cute the vibes were there it was fun i would say like 2.75 give or take i don't know i hate ratings i hate ratings i rate based off of how it makes me feel the vibes of the book the fun of it or the heftiness of it i don't know what you want to call it i don't like ratings so don't take my ratings to heart you might think collided was like a five star book okay just read it if you've read throttled and you want to continue the series just read it i don't care what you do just do what you want to do. So aside from that, we have physical books. The first one that I did read in June before really bad things happened was this one. Okay, so you guys are probably gonna hate me, but this is the first Abby, is it Jimenez? I, oh, I'm so bad at names. This is the first book I've read by her, and I know that technically this is part of like a series but like not really like you can read them as standalones but I just was obsessed with the cover and I have heard so many good things on this author so I immediately bought it it was back in May that I bought it and I was like hell yeah I'm reading this for June let's go get ready for summer <laughs> and I was about halfway through and then bad things happen so it took me a minute to finish however I really wish that I was reading this at any other time in my life because this book was so good and I genuinely want to just go back and just I just want to read all of her books I just want to read all of her books there's nothing more I can say about that I get the hype she is an amazing author she gives me like Emily Henry but a little bit more fun I have read every single Emily Henry book okay I read her newest one funny story in May that one was good Emily Henry I don't know I love her books because she's so much Sure, and they are realistic, which is nice because in a lot of these throttled or you know just like any of these like TikTok books and all that stuff they're they're not necessarily like realistic the characters are young I really love Emily Henry's writing due to the fact that the characters are more mature and the writing is so so well I do love Emily Henry but Abby she is like what I would want. Those little pieces that I miss from an Emily Henry book, Abby does it. This book, as you can see, I mean, I annotated it so much. I just, I loved it. I loved it. This was, honestly, I want to give it a five star. It's just the unfortunate circumstances that I was under while reading this book, but I would say it's like a 4.75, pretty, pretty much a five star. I'm just bias. This was the one that I read in June to try to start off my June TBR and then shit hit the fan. This week I'm going to go over the books that I read. So the first one, and I think this is going to be a dead giveaway on why my month of June went really bad. This book, I am not even going to try to pronounce the name, but it is called Notes on Grief. It is a very, very short book. I just read it in one sitting. It was everything that I needed right now. I just love it 
so much. It's not even on my bookshelf. It's propped up like a damn photo. This was a absolute five star read for me. The author just, I mean, oh my gosh. No, I loved it. I cried, of course. <laughs> Definitely loved this one. It was a really good way to start this challenge because again, it is so short five stars all the way love this book i was so glad that i i did not know anything about this book until i saw a youtuber that i also watched he mentioned this book and i was like okay looking up barnes and noble who has this like who has this book i must go get it immediately went and got it that day and here we are that was the first book i read then when i was out of town you obviously saw all the clips wildfire by hannah grace she wrote icebreaker which my little figure skater self was biased on and of course i did like that book i only like hockey players in books i hate hockey players in real life in books chef's kiss this got released in the fall but to me it was giving summer you know they're literally at a summer camp so i was like i'm gonna wait and read this in the summer so here we are I thought it would just be a fun, easy read to get through, especially since I was trying to obviously knock out all of my TBR in like a week and also just see how many books I could read in a week. So this one was a lot of fun. It did take me two days to read only because I was out of town and I was just doing a lot of other stuff and I definitely dedicated time to read this, but it took me a minute. I half read it physically and then I also, it was on Spotify. Spotify sponsor me. <laughs> it was on Spotify. So I, I did a mix of both just to try to like get through it quicker but I did really like it I did some annotating it was really cute I mean talk about a golden retriever boy all the way through and through a walking green flag this man was so pure it was just the cutest thing ever this would be such a good movie it was giving camp rock but like you know adult <laughs> if you will I loved it. it it just felt so cozy where I was like I was in the mountains and I was at a lake reading this with that sort of similar setting was so much fun and I really enjoyed it I feel like Hannah Grace like the books icebreaker this one they're not my favorite but they're not my least favorite like I definitely want to read them and when she comes out with the next one am I gonna read it yeah we're well, moving on is that it oh my god I'm so stupid it's in my lap <laughs> The last and final one that I was able to finish right as July came was this one. It is Go As A River. It is by Shelley Reed. Imagine being an author and having your last name be Reed. <laughs> this book was different than what I thought it would be. It is said to be like, let me just... <clears throat> Set amid the beauty and wilderness of the Colorado mountains, an unforgettable and deeply moving story of a young woman who follows her heart. Essentially, the synopsis was just sort of saying like this young woman that just endures so much and her story trying to become a woman she's on her own and all these challenges it's set throughout like i think it starts late 40s and goes all the way to the 70s something like that kind of goes in time eras time stamps it was not what i was expecting but not necessarily in a bad way i honestly did not know what i was looking at i don't tend to look super hard into what the plot of a book is about i just kind of like you know based off of like if the cover like it pulls me to it and then I kind of read the brief synopsis and I'm like yep you know what that seems like something that would resonate with me or I would enjoy like whatever it may be I pick it up and I just start reading this book was definitely for me I would say like three and a half stars I really did enjoy it it was beautiful I also did listen no I didn't do Spotify this time this one was audible <laughs> I was like I listened to it on Spotify again I listened to it on Audible. I literally knocked it out in like one go. I was deep cleaning the house. I pretty much finished it. But it was very beautifully written. I love the poetic writing that the author did with this and the scenery, the struggles. Really did like the main girl's character and her growth and just, oh my gosh, think of her and what she endured and the things that she had to do, especially this one part. I just, I don't know how she did that. I don't know how she's alive. This one, really good. It has romance in it, but it is not a romance book by any means. It is just a contemporary fiction, an adult fiction. I really suck at knowing genres. 
I'm sorry, I should know more. I really should, given that I read so much. I'm just here for the books. <laughs> this one was really good. I would really recommend it. This one was probably my favorite that I read. That's like, that's a stretch, because I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed these books that I read this week. It's hard to pick a favorite. If I had to pick a favorite, it probably would be just for the summer. There is something about that book for me that just, it just did it for me. But Wildfire, like, I am drawn to that because of, like, the aesthetics and the vibes and the imagery of that book. But this one, I would say just, like, as just one of those books that, like, sits with you, this was, this is the one. Anyways, five books, one week, kind of in four days, more or less. It was hectic. It was crazy. Kind of proud of myself for how much I read. I'm proud of myself. Is, that's so, like, why would I say that? I'm impressed. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect and I'm I'm more proud that I actually followed through. So cheers to all this. This is essentially what I read this month. This is probably, well, this is one of the, oh my gosh. This is one of the months where definitely less books than I've been reading. I've been averaging at almost 10 a month. Who am I? I an unemployed girl that sits at home. That's what I am. So I read. <laughs> So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was fun for you to kind of just go on little adventures with me and read with me and see how many books I could manage to conquer in one very chaotic and hectic week. I will see you in the next video whenever that may be. <laughs> Bye!